What's up, puppies? Today, we're going to go over the easiest and fastest spots to find many different shinies in Pokemon Violet. This location, as you can see, has so many groups of Pokemon that you can isolate hunt to guarantee you get your shiny quickly. Let's dive on in. The Galaciado Mountain is full of different types of Pokemon, but with specific sandwich, you can isolate hunt up to easily six different Pokemons. And you can easily see that a lot of these, like Go-Goats, and also our Pyros that'll be coming up will be spawning in big groups, so it'll make it for an easier shiny hunt. First Pokemon that you can isolate hunt in Galaciado Mountain is Pyroar. By using a Sparkling 3 Fire Sandwich with also Encounter 3 on, all you're gonna see on this mountain are gonna be Pyroar. To make this sandwich, all you'll need is one cucumber, one pickle, and three red peppers. And you can use any two different Herba Mysticas as long as they're not sweet and sour combination. In my personal experience, I've had the easiest time if I stack each of these red bell pepper in a stack of three and have it separated by three and then just layer the cucumber and pickles on top of it. And my best advice is just to go ahead and yeet that bread. You, you don't need it for that stat, so go ahead and toss it. With this combination, you will get your fire type and counter three and sparkling three to guarantee that you have the easiest time hunting for your pyroar. Shiny pyroar and lit leo is pretty easy to spot. So just keep going up and down the mountain area and you're bound to find your shiny. Honestly, you can go slowly like I am right now or you can speed run it since they do tend to spawn in groups. Second Pokemon you can isolate hunt is an ACL. By using a sparkling and encounter three rock type sandwich, you're gonna see a bunch of them right over here. Now, my tips is I wouldn't really speed through them. As you can see, the shinies are not that obvious. So I would just make sure that you take a close look at each one of the spawns in the groups and make sure that you didn't miss a shiny since they do spawn even on the cliff side. All you need for this sandwich is one cucumber, one pickle, three bacons, and any two Herba Mysticas, as long as they're not sweet and sour. Those two will never work together for these sandwiches. And any pick of your choice? I personally like to stack my bacons on three, just like the other sandwich. That way you can ensure that none of the ingredients are gonna fall apart. And honestly, I don't even know if this looks like a bacon or if it looks more like brownies. Finish these off by putting the cucumber and pickles right on top of each other. That way, again, make sure that none of the ingredients falls apart since the sandwich effect will change if they do. And I personally recommend yeeting that top bun to ensure nothing happens. If you're successful in making this sandwich, you'll see that there's gonna be a lot of them to spawn. So you should be able to find your first shiny NACL. Third Pokemon to hunt for in this area is Go-Goat. You can isolate hunt this Pokemon by using a Sparkling 3 Encounter 3 Grass Sandwich. And this sandwich can be made pretty easily and it's very cheap. And the good part is all these spawns tend to spawn all together. So there's gonna be a lot of them that you'll encounter before you find your shiny. All you need for this sandwich is one cucumber, one pickle, three lettuce, and any two Herba Mysticas, as long as they're, again, not sweet or sour. I personally like to layer these lettuce just like the bacons and red peppers to make sure that they don't fall apart. And I guess this kind of looks like an okay sandwich compared to the other ones. It's just veggie salad, veggie, veggie sandwich. There you go. Since go-goats are pretty easy to tell when they're shiny or not, you are able to full speed through this area if you are a little bit more impatient like I am or you can cruise on by slowly to guarantee that you don't miss your shiny. For shiny that you can hunt on this mountain is gonna be low kicks. Now, you might be wondering, why do I want low kicks when they're everywhere and they're running into me? Well, I'm doing a living deck, so I needed them. And this is literally the perfect spot, as long as you don't let them run into you. All you're gonna find when you use your dark encounter three and sparkling three sandwich is gonna be the low kicks. And you can go up and down the mountain to find your shiny. And as you can see, these shinies are pretty obvious. So you can go full speed or you can gradually stroll through the mountain. To make this sandwich, all you need is one cucumber, one pickle, and three smoke fillets. 
And of course, you need the two Herba Mysticas. As long as they're not sweet and sour, this will work. I personally like to stack my smoked fillets in crisscross way to ensure that they don't fall apart. Of course, you yeet the top on us always. Do they look like, I don't know, they look kind of weird. A little bit slimy, but you know what? As long as it brings out the shiny, right? Hopefully with the sandwich, you'll be able to find your sparkling locusts. Last but not least, you can find spoinks on this mountain when you use a Psychic Encounter 3 and Sparkling 3 sandwich. And do you see how many of them there are and only the spoinks? This will be your perfect location to find that cute little pig to add to your shiny collection. All you need for this sandwich is going to be three onions, one pickle, one cucumber, and any of the two Herba Mr. Compa combination as long as it's not sweet and sour. I personally like to make this sandwich where I put the onion on one side and cucumber on one side to guarantee that all the ingredients stay together. Yes, always eat that bread. Now, all of them are going to be spoiling, so you can rush through these to shiny hunt. I personally like the slow stroll since they are a little bit smaller of Pokemon to make sure that I don't miss any shinies. Thank you so much for watching and hope this location can guarantee you to find five different shinies. We'll be going over different locations in another video to make your shiny hunt easier.